I'm with you. Can't even retweet. But I want to pivot because you brought up battle rap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we are in the, you know, we are in the aftermath of what they call one of the greatest battles <laughs> in rap. Right, right, right. And, <laughs> and to be honest with you, you know, when I saw this thing going down, I said this is a little bit different than the battles, the, the, the rap battles that I grew up on. This to me is given like Harlem. This shit is like a battle rap and a debate mm-hmm. kind of coming together, right. even if it may have been one sided. Like I was feeling like it was giving that 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 cross the line type of yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from your perspective, mm-hmm. you know, give me about three things that you could say that you walked away from this situation with your fellow Hebrew Israelite brother, <laughs> K. Dot. You it's know what I mean? K-Dot, I don't yeah, know what yeah. Campion and yeah, all that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But I, I, I've, I've, I've been told a few things. Mm-hmm. Um, versus the bro who they called um, the false prophet or the, mm-hmm. the emperor who has no clothes or what people are identifying, Aubrey Graham, as a, a, a Jewish mm-hmm. slash Canadian slash half black rapper. Okay, so three things. So first, I think that um, because so in my position, K dot one, not from him being an Israelite, of course. But I think the strategy he took right. is why he won. Right. Because first of all, Drake was a monster before this. Right. I don't care what nobody say. Drake, like they talk about Pusha T. Drake survived Pusha T. And got bigger. Drake survived Meek. Nobody really wanted to ever really battle right. Drake. A couple of years ago when um, I think K-Dot had kind of threw something out there. Control. In a, say what? Control, Control right. Yeah. He threw something out there, but he didn't do nothing with it. He didn't follow up. So you could say K-Dot might not have been ready couple years ago like that's how strong like we can't disrespect Drake like losing a battle like this this is what was wrong with the fan like the fans of Drake and Kendrick really made this battle bad right but Drake and Kendrick was fire right right. during the battle during the battle so we can't disrespect Drake and make it seem like he wasn't that dude because he was right right. he was he would have survived Rick Ross too and Rick Ross this was hard right but nobody really Nobody really cared about Rick Ross's diss like that. And I think that played a part in Kendrick's delay. Because I think, for oh, oh, and the other thing, when people got mad at Kendrick for taking so long, I think, and you got to be a little older because Nas didn't make Three either. Three months. Yeah. You, oh, so you knew where I was going. Yeah, because he dropped it on 9-11. Yep. And then he dropped it on his birthday. December right. December 4th. So right. that was so a long stretch. That was a long stretch. Facts. Take over September, Ether December. Fact. And people, I, I don't know if it's an age thing or people don't really respect the culture like that to know your response don't necessarily have to be right away. But we live in a hyper. The, exactly. A social media. Was, yeah, social yeah. media wasn't out there. <laughs> but the way Kendrick did it, when he came out, oh, the nigga no, came out. He came out, right. Nigga came out, dropped that one song. There's a skit by this brother. Um, Cause when Ken, so Kendrick comes with that one song, right? Drake comes with that song. Push up, push up. No, no, push ups was first. Push up. I'm sorry, no, first. no. If we do it, so if we actually no, look at it technically, no, we doing it battle rap wise. Okay, so if you we look doing at it, three rounds. Right, okay, but they gave us three rounds. They gave us These three are two rounds. battle rappers. Right. One is a fan, mm-hmm. and one is an actual battle rapper. Right. Kendrick came up battle rapping. Right. Drake is a super battle rap stan. That's He's it. He's been, he, he, he was the caffeine shit. Like, you yeah, know. he was there with the okay. caffeine, but he never really hopped in there. But like you said, K-Dot, what came, comes up from that environment. Fact. So what turned the tide was what Drake was asking for backfire. So when Kendrick didn't respond, Drake really should have just chilled. Got cocky. He got, he got, he thinking like, Oh, this nigga don't really want it. That right. now he let his ego get to him. Right. And so that was a good ass strategy by K Dot. So now he just, okay, okay. He hype it up and then K, uh Drake is making these damn posts on Instagram. Memes. Like where's where's Drake? Right. I'm just gonna where's him. you know, where's that? You right. want this battle? 
And then once he did that, then Kendrick just flooded with like three rounds. That's right. When the tide turned, when Aubrey drops meet family. the uh the family family matters. Family matters that night. I remember listen, I'm at home with my son and we <laughs> talking about the family matters and we like, yo, that shit hard, that shit right, hard. Right, right. You I get see. That, you get the notification. Yeah, I get. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Later. Yo, I saw the shit. And so I text my son up because I'm downstairs in my basement. He upstairs. I text him. I'm like, yo, Kendrick just dropped another one. He texted me back. Nah, that was earlier. I said, no, nigga. It's now. Wow, he right. calls me. He said, you telling me he just dropped the song right now? I said, yeah, <laughs> right now. Right. The beat was sinister. Just ding, ding, ding. Horror, like a horror. Yeah, like a horror. Like, here's Johnny, like the right, shining. Right, like, like it was, the shining. Yeah, right, it right. was crazy and melodic. And that was it. And then he didn't have to give us nothing else. Right. And then he dropped the last song with Victory the horns Lack. on it. Yeah. They're that's that's like everywhere. Us. When so, the colleges come out, watch they use that in the bands. Oh, for sure. So from a battle rap fan perspective, because mm-hmm. that's who we both are. Right. Okay. First, the first round, because mm-hmm. you got first rounders, you know, the advantage goes to sometimes the one who, who strikes went, first, strikes first right. but then sometimes the, the one who closes the third, mm-hmm. you get the benefit because you got to win either two or three out of the three right. to get the gentleman's 30, the dirty 30, or once you lock two in, you could come out with a, it don't matter what you come out with in the third. If I lock the two in, I'm good. Right. So push-ups follows up with... Like you said, he gets cocky. He throws mm-hmm. the uh, he throws the AI song out. Right, right, right. Because from a perspective of a battle rapper, you like, wait a minute. So you know that I fucks with Pac like that in real life. I got to pull a surprise in mm-hmm. the Grammy off of the album with Pac. In I didn't AI Pac. Right. This is from Kendrick's side. So he like, oh, you trying to get a Snoop is alive and you are doing AI Snoop mm-hmm. and you are doing AI Pac when they made him take it down. Uh, That's the beginning of the salvo, right? So then he hits him with his version of the AI shit with the 616. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, which was the Euphoria, which in my humble opinion, I think that was the better song out of the whole lineup. That's Mm -hmm. just me. Yeah, I like Euphoria. It made my gym It grows on you and everything. Mm -hmm. And it's it's meticulous, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And then he starts to take down. So we all know about Geechee Gotti's thirds. We all know yeah. about Tay Rock seconds, yeah, and we all we all we know about Sue Surfs, yeah. He's he's he. You know Sue what I mean? Surf, yeah. So Meet the Grams was that third when it was equivalent to Geechee's third that he's always talking that yeah. shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What's your life like? Sh- yeah, shotgun, 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 shotgun. What's yeah, your life shotgun like? like the, so he, life yeah. Like? So mm-hmm. he gave them a What's your life like? Mm-hmm. He gave them that struggle. That 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 that. You know, I used to cut bowls out of that that shit. <laughs> chest me. I used to eat cereal. <laughs> he gave them that struggle rap. That right. that intro. That I'm gonna talk to this nigga. Right. Lux in homie. Mm-hmm. Round by, uh, second round when he was talking to um, right. uh, 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 Calico. Right. So that was that talking, and then the third round was the victory lap, which is that turn up song that everybody's dancing to because you know niggas like to dance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta feed the nigga gene. So once he fed the nigga gene, people like your man whacking them who was not on his side before. Mm. Now they like, okay, we got something to crip walk and, mm. and, and do the whatever that, you know, the, the blood walk or whatever that mm. is because now he involved the gangs. I'm glad he didn't involve it in, in the beginning because they might have took credit for the body. Right. And then it becomes a gang thing. No, I'm going a, I'm to a body this nigga mm-hmm. and then I'm going to let y'all eat the carcass. You Word feel me? Bond. Even from the, the AI part, from battle rap, me watching battle raps, I remember when K Shine tried to bring B- Big T out against Hitman. And then I remember when uh, Twerk tried to bring out, um, what's the cat he tried to bring out on John John? I can't remember the, his, his name, but Jack Boy. Jack, Jack Boy. Boy. But every time you see that, it never really works in the favor of the person that brought right. that other person in because. Niggas is more. We don't want to. We, we don't want the guests to come in. Right. right. We want to see you on. scrap. So right. bringing in Snoop and a passed away Tupac right. didn't really help him. And when the estate went against him, it knocked him down. So right. that's how you know he didn't really know what he was getting into. That's a fact. With Kendrick. 
at all. And then if I could sidebar, because you brought up whack, if I could just sidebar, this is outside of the battle, but when the battle is over, you got this nigga game trying to come in, and now he want to diss Rick Ross after the battle is over. Like, nobody even, did you listen to it? Because I ain't even listened to the battle. He came into the club when the, the lights was on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he came with in. A, with that's a, a new perfect fit. example. With a, yeah, shit with a new braided. fit, like, a, yeah, yo, I'm rapped too. Where the at? <laughs> like, I'm rapped too. It's too late, And man. declared himself a winner when nobody <laughs> even cared about the battle. I just wanted to make sure I put that on record because that was like right. the lamest. When you talk about lame, that right. got to be the lamest shit in 2024 so far. We've had a lot happen a lot of in shit. 2024. Right. That got to be the lamest to try to ride the wave of a battle when the battle was over. And the cat right. that you're going at, he should have tried to diss Rick Ross when Rick Ross first, first dissed Drake. That, right. Then it, that hour, even though that he, day. Right, because like everybody was jumping in. That's so, right. Because that battle wasn't really Rick Ross's the fight. This is just Kendrick and Drake. Right. But when Rick jumped in it, if Game would have jumped in it, it would have been relevant. But he obviously don't watch battle rap. He don't. Because he didn't know how to jump in. Right. Because what, what you saw with Kendrick was basically like how I've been in fights where, you know, the the, the, the opponent, got it. you got to show up strong. Right. If you're facing somebody who everybody going to rally against. Right. If, if you come up by yourself, then you would have seen... All of these industry, but once they seen, oh damn, future back in this shit, mm-hmm. damn, they got they got the homie on them. They got the I, I'ma just chill and wait and see right. who body drop. Right. So he 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 was able to make it where everybody clear the stage. Let them two do it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man. Yeah, but I, but Kendrick Kendrick showed me a lot. And uh, did you think he was gonna go there? I because I, they said he had it. five songs recorded that he didn't put out. No, mm-hmm. I'm saying. Do you think he was going to go there and bring up the fact that, because he was walking towards it. Mm. You not, you know what I mean? He was, he cleared him up with the whole allegations. And I say, from where I stand, because of my studying and everything, everything that he was saying to Drake, he was hitting them people upside their head. They took it personal. Right. Because they live vicariously through Dude, the boy. Right, right. Because he is, in my humble opinion, their Neo. Remember in the movie Matrix, they said mm-hmm. to Neo, we, we try to make you seven times already. You was the one that made it through. We, we attempted to make you. Right, right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They attempted to make Drake with Astro Roth. Mm-hmm. They attempted to make Drake with a whole bunch of people who they wanted to bring in, like how they brought, you know, to, to kind of just invade and wear, you know what I mean? And, and, mm-hmm. and be a part of this culture from an outsider's perspective. Because right. that's literally who he is, not because he's biracial, he's by ethnicity. He don't have the same ethnicity as us. He don't. He 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 prays to another god. He worships another master. He's compromised. So he believes in another messiah. So any black or more messiah, or any messianic figure that he comes amongst that look like us, because of the quote unquote who he has made his allegiance to, he can't even acknowledge that. So now the only thing I'll say. I I wouldn't disagree about worshiping a a false god because I think a lot of us do that. I just ain't Mm -hmm. gonna take away his blackness though. You you don't have to. What I'm saying is his blackness remains. However, but you talk about who he works for, right? Well, who which side he chooses, right? Because so he Kendrick wasn't getting at him about having a white mother because they don't get at J Cole for having a white mother. Thank you. You feel me? Thank you. He was getting at him. That's the only thing I didn't like. Because he's a false. He's living, uh, he, he, he is the archetype, he is the poster child of a quote-unquote flawed-ass quote-unquote ethnicity that is cosplaying y'all. But see, that's, and that was the only thing I didn't like because like you said, J. Cole got the white mother and nobody really accused Drake of any of this when they was all cool. But right. of course, in battle rap, all holes everything, and, comes every, everything comes out right in the battle so that's what i mean when i say ain't taking away his blackness but he do cater more to his mama's side so to speak so you right. can't you can't take that part away either so real quick i know mm-hmm. we got yeah. they were saying that his mother's side the matrilineal side mm-hmm. was the side that dictated his bloodline and who he is mm-hmm. Based off of where y'all come from, right. it's the patrilineal. Right. 
So their goals, a humongous divide, divide. right there. Right. Because even he was doing an interview with Peter Rosenberg. Mm -hmm. And the main impetus of the interview, Peter Rosenberg was like, I you check all name. boxes. Right. right. You'll see him at the Knicks game. <laughs> you check all boxes <laughs> because it's your mother. They right. try, he said they try to bring Astro Roth in, but his father was Jewish, not the mama. He said, you get in and you're going to be a humongous star. This is before he went. Before he went up. Yeah, right. I saw the interview. Yeah. Right. I so saw he it. exposed all of that, mm -hmm. that how they talk behind the scene and, and you don't and worry. And that's me. why I said like he chooses his mother's side for that very reason. Yeah. Because the Jewish privilege. people, privilege and that matrilineal bullshit because Jewish people look at you as one of them based off of your mother. Right. Whereas biblically and we look at it as whatever your father is, that's what you are. Right. So for me, Drake is but I can't make him a in the sense of culture what i mean by that is because he leans to his mama's side right he is black but he would be what we call a sellout right. type of black right because he doesn't embrace in it right as right. much as much you know what i'm saying like when he should he don't do it unless it's an advantage and that's what i mean when it break when kendrick broke the shit down about being in atlanta right. he broke the whole shit down right. And tell me, is that not exactly. fact? Lil Wayne told Drake, just be the there, happy. Right. Yeah. Lil Wayne gave him the best advice. But maybe the black side of him wanted to venture off of and course. come of home. Of course. Because but I But he was too engulfed into the, his mama's side to okay. let that go. So he's a scorpion, Drake. Mm. Oh, and <laughs> when you get a hood pass, because mm. that's what exactly it was a trade off. I got the Drake stimulus package. I'm future, I'm little baby, I'm two chains, I'm giving you a hood pass. Where does a hood pass get you? Magic City, Blue Flames, right. uh, one, you know, the, the, whatever club these niggas are standing on the couch these days. It gets you that. Mm -hmm. That is a pass that if you're not from the culture, that is this a pass that is something that you can't mm. pay for. Right. It is it is a pass that every one of them wish for. Right. Right? They will give anything to get that pass because now you have what? They gave him all access. Mm -hmm. He got access to all the daughters, all the women, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? All the hoods and whatnot that he probably would have never have access to. So that just got revoked. Right. Feel me? Them little hits that they get on a billboard and they get access to white girls. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's the trade-off. I give you access to my women, you give me access to yours. That's the draw line right there. But the reason that he exasper the reason that he amplifies mm -hmm. the hood, not in a not in a good way, but he's amplifying the artist that he chooses to boost and give the stimulus package to, he didn't come into the hood and say, I'm going to find a nigga that's trying to free the slaves. Right. He didn't come into no hood and say, I'm going to give this, this, this stimulus package disapproved by my uh, Lucian and them. I'm going to help boost somebody that's helping to help the people. I'm not. I'm going to get on a song with a woman that's talking love. No. He came in. He boosted the gangbangers. He boosted the niggas that's in the trap. He boosted the niggas that's telling you to sell fentanyl. He's boosting the niggas that's mm -hmm. telling you to do all of this fuckery. That's who he's boosting. Right. That's what the stimulus package is helping to amplify. So these dudes went from 10 million to 100 million streams. They went from 1 million to 10 million followers. So they get amplified. Right. He boosts up and then they get to say, yeah, the culture fucked up. So you see why that shit has to come to an end. That's why it did come to an end. So with him, the, with Scorpions, because you got three of them that's interesting. It's Future, Diddy, and Drake, right? And there's more. But I'm just saying, you see the fall of Diddy, right? Because where I come from, I come from the tunnel era in New York. Me too. I was outside You're in 93. You're talking about the real tunnel. Yeah. I'm talking about the yeah. real tunnel. Yeah. Peter Gation, uh -huh. the, the white boy with one eye, the Israeli, mm -hmm. who was, he's, he, he brought ecstasy to New York. Mm -hmm. He had limelight and a tunnel. He, he, went to, he, was, he went to jail for that shit. That era was called the bad boy era. But it's not just the music, it's the mind state. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they brought, because this is about, this war that we are in is about ideas and concepts and narratives. That's what runs the world. That's what we're fighting against, mm -hmm. principalities and shit like nah, that. Real talk, that's so he helped, right. yeah, he helped to lay down the ideas and the concepts all about the Benjamins, right? This whole money over everything, materialism. He brought the, he brought the Jesus piece in. 
And not not Yahshua. That's how you I, say yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Yeah, he yeah, gave yeah. you Caesar Bourgeois. Right. Yeah. They had the iced out him and Biggie mm -hmm. had the iced out Jesus piece. Right. But they brought that win in Rome mentality into the game. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see that shit dying. Yeah. It's good to see y'all standing on business. That's right. It's good to see you continue to push the line. Right. It's good to see the Israelites getting their quote unquote day in the light because you're going to have more people convert. Mm -hmm. You're going to have more people interested. In. You're going to have more people want to spend time with their sons, That's spend right. time with their wives, be family men. Because, um, you know, and I'm not going to say unfortunately, fortunately, that is the commercial that Kendrick is selling That's right. those who can see, hear, and listen. So, with That's that right. being said, bro. We will continue Damn this talk. Right. Definitely, it's been a man. great we gotta do it build. Again. Yeah, you already definitely. know. We're going to bring Blue on this time. Hell yeah. Bring Blue, man. I ain't seen Blue in a minute either, man. Tell him to come him on through, man. man. I appreciate y'all coming through, man. You're Shout ready. out to Red Pill. Shout out to Knowledge, man. Knowledge. It's been a pleasure, man. What you got over there before you Oh, go? I appreciate it. Ah. Yeah. I'm glad you said that, man. Before we go, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about my business. You That's know, right. Israelites is definitely in the economics. Industrial. Um, this is my business, which is called Carl Gas. I sell a couple of products. These are my body oils that I sell for men and women. You can find them right on carlgas.com. Right. This is my beard oil. You see the beard shining? <laughs> I made my own blend for it. That's I up. call this my hair crack. It's called mm -hmm. hair tonic, but I call it crack. Because when you put it in your hair, you'll never put nothing else in your hair. Okay. Um, it has all the ingredients for hair growth. It's uh, a if detangler. You got an itchy scalp. It it'll detangles. Detangle. Yeah, it'll detangle. Okay. Um, if you got a dry scalp, it got all good ingredients in. I got fenugreek seeds in here, ashwagandha seed. That's it. Rosemary seeds up in Ooh. there. You all them shit's from all Africa. Oliver. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> It's and then I though. got, I like I got, the packaging, bro. Thank you, brother. Yeah, Appreciate it, fire. man. And then I got my fly ass body butters. I make all these myself. Dope. And these oils you can only get from me. You can't get these scents like if you go to some random oil seller on the street, you're not going to get these scents. You can only get these scents from me. If you go to carlgas.com, that's C A R L G A S S.com. You can find all my products right there. Shout out to Knowledge for Plus. Would this out. be identified going in the category of Muslim oils? This is better than Muslim oils. <laughs> this is like extreme, like square. It's the Israelite oil yeah, now. You, you know what I mean? This we're taking over. This yeah, yeah. yeah, this yeah we're taking oil. over the trains, nigga. <laughs> we're taking over two feet with these oils. Yeah, no. nah. But I appreciate you again coming out, You're Red, ready. man. Salute, this is Captain man. This Captain Zarya Gavai should be killed to command Jenny Hunter, man. Salute. All right. All right. No doubt. Ace. Hey.